So I'm about to tackle organizing my coupon stuff. Of all this, all these coupon inserts I need to go through. And then this is where I keep my coupons. I need to organize this too. I used to extreme coupon like crazy. I did it for like five years and I slowly just like kind of stopped because I had so much stuff. I had stockpiles everywhere like my in my parents room in their basement in my old bedroom in our garage um our whole one of our bedrooms we have three bedrooms in this apartment and the one bedroom was just coupon stuff but i like gave a bunch of stuff away i sold some stuff and i just had a yard sale so i sold some more stuff um and then i just couldn't use it quick enough and it was like taking over all of our space so i downsized and moved the shelves to our garage where that's where whatever I have left is there. I still have stuff at my parents' house too, but um, they use it, so. Um, but yeah, I just really haven't been into it lately. I just used to get a bunch of crap that either would expire or I just didn't use. I just got it because it was free, which is so nice, but if I don't have someone to give it to, like, I just don't even want to get it anymore. I just want to get stuff that I need, stock up on stuff that I'm going to use and use quickly like i have i had like 400 bottles of shampoo like i can't go through that quick enough so i was like giving it away and selling it and whatever so i want to get back into it i really miss it it's very addicting if any of you do it it's extremely addicting it's very time consuming but um it definitely pays off when you go to a store and get like a hundred like i go to cvs a lot and i would get like the retail value which their prices are a little higher than like if you went to Walmart and got it like by a dollar or two you know but that all adds up but like I'd get you know like $150 worth of stuff and I would pay like change for it and then I would get back like extra bucks so it was like they are paying me to get that stuff and it, it's just so rewarding and it's just when you do that for the first time it oh my gosh it's so addicting I love it so yeah I definitely want to organize all my stuff and get back into it I am Hopefully I can go tonight and do like a little haul at CVS or at Walmart or something if I can find some stuff and I will show you the process of how I coupon and what to pay for stuff. And yeah, so I'm going to get to organizing and I will show you when I'm done. All right. So, as you can see, my cat Malika and the dog want to help me coupon. Um, so I just got out all of the inserts I have. So I have three piles right here, and um, there's Smart Source and there's Red Plum. So what I do is um, I just put them in two different piles, the Smart Source and then the Red Plum. And then after that, um, I do it. I just organize it by like the months and put them in order. And then I'll go through and see, you know, I'm sure a bunch of these have expired. I haven't went through these in months. So um, the ones that have expired and are no good, I'll throw out. And then the other ones I will put um, into my binder. So, yeah, I will show you that process when I'm done. All right, so I just organized them into three piles. This is the smart source I have from um, June, July, and August. Same with the red plum. Um, I organized from the date and earliest to present, and then I have a couple of the PNGs. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to put them into this binder, and then I will look through the CVS flyer and see if there's anything that I want to get this week. So I finally got all of my couponing stuff organized. Um, I looked at the CVS flyer and there might be a couple things I'm gonna get. I don't. I'm not real sure yet. They're not that great of a deal but I did want to um, get on my one app I wanted to show you guys um, what I use I use this um, right here it's the crazy coupon lady app um, they have a website too but um, the apps really handy too if you like you're in the store and obviously don't have a computer then you can just use this app and it's really nice so um, they just give you deals like I have um, I think I did Walmart, Target, CVS, Rite Aid, and Walgreens are the stores that I chose because those are the ones that I go to and that are around me. So, um, yeah, as you can see, they just show you like different stores and what um, is the best prices that week. So, 
this um, ketchup is only a dollar and two cents. Um, Target, there's a deal for Kleenex. It's only 81 cents a box, which is really cheap. Um, yeah, so it's really, here's free toothpaste at Rite Aid, and if you click on it, my cats are fighting. Oh, I guess my cat and my dog. Okay, so see, I clicked on that, and it's not starting until the 28th, which is a Sunday. Um, but it just shows you um, how to get the coupon um, and how the deal is done. They break it down right here. So you buy the toothpaste. You can get the Total Advance or you can get the Optic White. I like the Optic White. Um, that's what I would get. And then in their flyer, when you go into Rite Aid, um, inside their door, they should have a flyer. And um, that's where you'll tear off the $2.50 coupon. Um, and plus, if you have the um, Smart Source for the Sunday, go ahead and buy that. And clip out the $1 coupon and you use them together. So $2.50 and $1, that equals $3.50, which is the price of the toothpaste. So you pay zero and you're going to get the toothpaste for free. So that's just how it works. Um, they just, it's just super easy. All you do is, you know, pick a store and just scroll down and they show you the best deals. And it's super easy. They show you where to get the coupon, how to do the deal. It's just super, super easy. So, yeah, I highly suggest any of you wanting to save some money on your groceries or um, any just, like, home items that you would need, definitely download this app, The Crazy Coupon Lady, or um, go to their website. It's just thecrazycouponlady.com. And, yeah, definitely, if you guys want to start couponing or just save a little bit of money, definitely, they're the best by far to follow. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And I think I'm going to go ahead and... Um, maybe make some lunch. It's like 3 o'clock and I'm getting pretty hungry. So, yeah, I'll show you what I make. Alright, guys, I am making some lunch now. I am going to use this, um, Jenny O taco seasoned ground turkey. I'm sorry that it's dark. Um, but I'm just going to, um, put that in the skillet and make that up. I'm going to make, um, the taco bowls that I talked about earlier. And it is already seasoned, but um, I just like to use a little bit of this um, taco seasoning. It's 40% less sodium. and just use a little bit of that just to make it more, um, have more of a flavor. All right, so the meat is done. Ground turkey. Uh, now I'm going to do, I'm going to take this rice. It's just the minute rice, the brown rice. Um, and I'm going to put it in. And then I'm going to put I'll put the rice in first and then I do the meat and then I put um, all the other stuff in that. Um, I like to use salsa. I just got this paste, picante, the mild. Um, and then I put some um, buffalo wing sauce. I like hot sauce, but this just tastes better to me, the buffalo sauce, so I use a little bit of that. And I like using just a little bit of this salsa ranch dressing. Um, and some light sour cream and then this is just some um, reduced fat fiesta cheese um, some lettuce shredded lettuce and then this is um, cut up onion oh, I think the rice is done it's very hot Measure. I just put some. I'm not a big meat eater. Like, I like ground turkey, but like other meats, it just it has to be like prepared a certain way. Like, I don't like. Ch I really don't like chicken. I just I just don't really like meat. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff in, and I'll show you the finished product. So this is what it looks like. I just. Mix it on up there. Just like a 
it really quick and easy. Um, lunch. That's what I've been eating for lunch. Lately. Yeah, I'll probably finish the laundry. I just heard it go off, so I have to fold the laundry, and then I'm probably going to vacuum. It's 20 after 3, so I'll do that quick, and then um, I'll have to shower and get ready to go meet the guy to see the land. So, fingers crossed, it's good, and it works out, and... <laughs> Yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll see you later.